Okay, welcome to part 10 of our Space War tutorial series. Uh, we've basically got a working game. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a start and a finish, but you know, that's stuff we're going to add later. Uh, we get points by shooting the enemy. We lose points by shooting our own, our own team, who are the blue guys. And I'm not very good at the game. But uh, what I want to do is I want to try and add a little bit of an explosion effect when something is blown up. So what I'm going to do is do something called a particle system. And uh, you'll see this in games and, and, and all sorts of things. So what I need to do is I'm going to create a class uh, and call it particles. I'm just going to copy one of these and just use the parts that I need. Um, so I'm trying to keep all my sprites together. I'm going to call this a particle. And let's see. When I create the particle, I do not want it on the screen. So just pick some coordinates off the screen. Okay. So it doesn't matter where start X and start Y are, I just want them off the screen. Okay. And I'm gonna make uh, another another method and I'm gonna call that uh, explode. And self. Oops. And what we gotta do is we gotta move the particle to start x, start y. That is not this start x and start y. That's a different start x and start y. We'll talk about that in a second. So self dot go to start x, start y. And self dot set heading. We want to go into a random heading. Dot rand int zero three sixty. Okay, so this is how we're getting started. And let's do a move. So define uh, move because it's gonna be moving a little bit different differently. So self dot fd what's well, explosion, so it should probably move pretty fast. Um, say ten. So in our main loop, okay. well actually first, so we created the class, now we gotta create the sprites. So let's say for our particles, so particles, particles, a list for i in range, let's say we want 20 particles, just pick the number. So particles.append particle, and we want our particles to be circles. And for now, we'll make them red. Or let's see, well, that's orange. How about orange? And it doesn't matter where they start, so I guess we're going to move them later. Um, okay. Now, our particles are going to be really tiny. Okay, so to do that, we're going to use this shape size thing we used before. So I'm going to still I'm gonna borrow that from the missile. Uh, missile uh, uh, class, and we're gonna make them really small. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay. So now, each particle we're gonna call it a frame. And it's gonna start on frame zero. So, so if frame, if self dot frame. Well, actually, I'll leave it like this, and I'll show you why. So what happens is when there is a collision, I need to move all of my particles, all 20 of them, to wherever the collision is. So let's say when the missile shoots an enemy, okay, do the explosion. So for particle in particles, so I need them all. Particle dot go. To, it's going to go to. Oops, it's going to go to. Where the missile is, missile dot x position. The missile dot y position. 
Now the reason it's the missile is because when I collide with the enemy, I move the enemy. So it'll be somewhere else randomly. Um, now we could do it, we could do it that we can move this at the end and put this up at the top. We, we probably will do that eventually. But for now, this is what I want to do. And particle dot frame, okay, particle dot goes, we'll leave it like that and see what happens. Syntax 160. It's weird. Ah, missed the parenthesis. Happens all the time. Okay. Line 217. So, iron range. More errors. Circles. Okay, so circle. Okay, so let's shoot something and see what happens. From cell expert has no attribute exposition. Ah. I do that every single time. Uh, line two sixty two. So exposition does not exist it is x core x coordinate I don't know why I have position stuck in my head um, fix that one these days. okay I don't know if you saw that but there is a little bit of a dot here so so it is working but it's not exploding okay so what we need to do is In our loop here, we need to do, let's see, where's that? Put it so after the allies. So four cool in particles. Particle dot move. So we need to move the particles. Okay, well, let's get there. Got one. <laughs> okay, it's sort of working. Uh, what's going on there? Particle and particles. So, particles and particles. Aha. Particle dot uh, set heading random dot, dot rand int. 0, 360. I thought we did that, but maybe not. And so we're going to move the particles somewhere and we're going to give them a heading, a random heading. Okay, so you can see how it flies off the screen. Doom! It's kind of cool. Uh, now, the other thing is, we don't want the it to keep going like that forever. Um, so we want it to kind of end after a certain number. So, what we're going to do is that's why we use frames. Okay, so in our particle move, okay, so if frame is greater than one, greater than zero, we're going to move. Okay. Then if frame is less than 20, so, so if Self dot frame is less than twenty. Actually, it's greater than twenty because we want to stop. Um, frame self dot frame. Close zero. So we set it back to zero, and then self dot go to off the screen. Doesn't really matter where to, but as long as it's off the screen. So what this will do is, well, frame because frame starts off zero, so explode. So you say self dot frame equals one. So that's our first animation frame. So if frame is greater than zero. Yes, it's going to go. So it should go about twenty pixels and then stop. Uh, global name is not defined. 
Okay, because we are in a class, it's self.frame. See anything there? Something went wrong. <laughs> ah, sure. So, explode. Hmm. It's weird. Self top frame was one. Explode. Oh, so I need to do a particle dot explode. I didn't do that part. That's why nothing was working right. Um, so explode goes to the starting point, set heading. Okay, that's why I wasn't. Okay, makes more sense now. Um, so I need to explode. I need to tell it where to go. So it's going to explode at the missile coordinate. Run it. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Didn't stop though, but should stop after 20. Let's try that again. So it's working, but it's just kind of not working as expected. Um, yeah. Self frame is greater than zero. Dot frame plus equals one. I got it. Increment it. Because it was it was stuck at one. Okay, see how it disappeared. So it goes twenty and it disappears. I think twenty is a bit too much, but again, it's some of those things you can kind of play around with the numbers. Um, it doesn't have to be twenty; it could be you know fifteen, which was not one fifty. Um, so it's, that'll show you how far you want it to go. So there's a kind of very simple particle system, and I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Okay, so it disappears after a certain time. So now, now that you know how to do that, you can add that explosion effect to when player hits hits the enemy, or when the uh, player shoots one of the allies as well. <laughs>